Today we're working on the Shark V2. We have just completed hooking up this printer. Now we need to level it. And that's not exactly a quick process, but I'm going to walk you through it the best I can. So using the touch panel, we're going to go to leveling. I'm going to take my piece of just blank printer paper and we're going to, this is going to touch in that corner. There we go. Now, I'm looking for just a small amount of resistance. There is no resistance here. Underneath, you will find four knobs. We're going to twist this to raise this bed height until I have just a touch of fraction, uh, fr a friction. This is too much. Level it down just a hair. Still too much. Getting better. Alright, I like that one. So I can easily pull it out, but I can't push it back in. Just for good measure, I'm gonna... Right, I like that even better. Very nice. You're trying to get that as close to barely touching as possible. So I can push it back in now, so that's a bit too much. So let's back it up. Not too far. Alright. Then, using the same control pad, we're going to move to the right corner. And we're going to repeat the process for all five sections. So it's going to be the each corner and then the center. So I'll be back when I have when I work on the center. All right, I've done all four corners, so I should have just slight resistance. I just barely feel it grinding the head and the plate. Now it's recommended, if this is your first time doing a manual bed leveling, like it is mine, that you run through the whole sequence again. The good news is, you've already done it once, so it becomes really easy. Again, return to position one, just looking for a slight resistance. Go to position two. Just barely being able to feel it resist. Let's go to three. Okay, that one's a bit light, so let me go ahead and tighten that up just a bit. There we go. And then four. Perfect. And five. If you did all four correct, this should have the exact same feel. And it does. And that's how you manually level the Shark V2.